everybody thank you for joining me today so today's video I'm starting with a few Christmas uh, videos this one I just wanted to play and I've got the Gina K glitter glitz gels and so I wanted to use the gold and I think I have the let me see I don't know if it's just called white or whoop, Lord Jesus throwing it at myself yep it's white glitter gel and so I've got the ornament shape that I'm stamping in the my favorite things I think it's the wild cherry and I'm stamping twice uh, so and then I'm just gonna slide it down make sure I have enough room because I want to make sure I have enough room to cut it out with my die cut and um, I'm doing three ornaments on my card front so I'm sliding down the other way and once I have it in the right spot go ahead and stamp it twice as well and I was pretty amazed like whenever you use red inks especially um, it's always going to tint your clear stamps um, because of the the pigment you know in the in the ink and stuff but this one cleaned pretty well um, it's just a little slightly pink and I'm okay with that I'm just gonna put it right back into my uh, my little package here so that way I don't lose it and then set that to the side now you could heat emboss using the elements that are in the stamp set but like I said I wanted to use the glitter gel the glitz glitter so um, I'm gonna actually wind up using the stencil because this is one of those sets where as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, I gotta get the die set so that way I can cut them out if I want. And then, even though it's a really simple shape, um, but I decided that I also, yeah, I want the the stencil. I'm like, why wouldn't I want it? So I'm gonna hold that over, you know, the image. I got a couple, three different ones that I wanted to try. Oh, and then the that one I'm gonna do right down the center, the middle, I should say. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up real quick because when I opened it, it looked a little cloudy. So I'm gonna mix it with my palette knife and get as much off as I can. And then I have one of the Nouveau spatulas. It comes in a two pack. I just grabbed the one that has the angle. And we're gonna lay down um, some of the glitter gel. And thankfully, because I was already planning on using the die cut image um, if there's a spot like that gets onto the white part I'm not stressing about it um, I do realize here at this point that I probably should have started with the center bulb <laughs> and then worked my way outside but hindsight being 2020 this is what happens so I'm gonna lay this as best I can kind of leaning it up a little so it doesn't hit the other ornament and because it's the dots and it doesn't take much I just have to go over it like once or twice and then I'm gonna pull up and my dots are there so there's the glitter so I'm gonna clean up real quick and then do the same thing with the white glitter gel because I actually was ahead of the game and had pre-stamped a couple of bulbs um, prior to starting filming because I knew I wanted to do the two different colors all right so we gotta mix this one up as well I do appreciate the fact that there was no protective seal on it so I don't have to worry about sticking my fingers into the glitter I did like that so this one I wised up <laughs> I'm starting with the center and I'm gonna go ahead and lay down on the glitter glue the glitter glue <laughs> Lord Jesus the glitter glitz Ugh, say that three times so I was trying to figure out okay so how am I gonna hold this so I decided to do this one over here first with the diamonds shine bright like a diamond and that's just going right across the middle and then I'm going to turn 
and then I'm watching carefully where the point is because I didn't want it to get into my you know other pattern and I'm laying it down over top of the dots again so same patterns I just did it a little bit differently because like I said you know working in from the middle and going out it just made more sense to do it that way and then with this one I would suggest just like anything else with glitter paste glitter gels take it to the sink and wash off your stencil and stuff now I was showing you there I was gonna use my delicata inks but I think I need to get refills for those because they were awfully dry so I'm just gonna use the VersaClaire ink and do my toppers and you could do Versamark and then heat emboss if you want it to be more metallic-y or, you know, have that type of a shine. That's fine. For what I wanted to do, I didn't need to do all that. I just wanted to get that stamped and then get these cut out. So inside, another little piece of good news is they have it in a package, the um, die cut, so you don't have to snip them apart. Um, I would have to get or will get some magnetic sheets so I can actually have them laid out on that and put it with my stamp set so that way um, it's all together. So once I get that set up, I'm grabbing my platform um, plates and my cuddle bug. And thank you to my subscriber who told me that if I put down both ends at the same time, it suctions to the glass mat game changer okay game changer I don't know what I'm gonna do because these plates are so beat up I need to get some more but after I ran it through you could see I had my uh, ornaments right there in my hand and now I'm just going to use my pokey tool and poke a hole in the top of all three and I knew I basically wanted to make them an ornament on my card so I'm taking some gold thread and I'm just using little bits of purple tape to kind of keep it held down in the back and then I'm going to cut a long enough string that I can um, basically put these onto my card front and then take the string around the back and attach it So we're doing that one and then just one more to go and I'm putting down obviously purple tape is meant to like come back up it's not meant to stay permanently so that's why I did add a little bit of the wet glue just in case because I just want it to stay for sure especially when I'm trying to place it down because when I did my first card which I did off camera um, it pulled out and it was annoying all right so if you want you can use your ruler you just line it up that's one of the best things about the Tim Holtz ruler um, once you find your spot and you can get it evenly um, it'll help you with putting down the next one so once I found the place and this one I'm gluing directly to the card itself I'm gonna do two that way and then the one in the center I'm gonna pop up and then I'm just making sure it's straight, putting down my tape. And then we're going to put down the next one. Using the ruler again to line up. Taping the back side and using the art glitter glue. And then we're going to use the, I think I'm lining it up on four. So I'm going to line this one up on the number six and try and make sure they're as even as possible and then tape this one down cut off the extra because I don't need all that and then this last one is the one that I'm going to use the foam tape on to give it a little bit of dimension and I will suggest that on the center one of the um, ornament you do you want to put a little piece of foam tape up at the top uh, where the I don't even know what that thing is called the the loop where you string the bolt <laughs> I know they're called something and in my head I cannot think of it right now 
but you're going to want to put a little piece there because it'll just keep it nice and secure from the back and it'll be nice and even on your card. I'm just taking my red tape, but the backing off because some of the smaller pieces is a little bit harder. And then once I line them up, press down and then tape in the back and cut off the extra. And I already have my base pre ready to go with my matte paper at four and a quarter and by five and three eighths. And I'm just using my ATG and the art glitter glue. And I'm using that because all the spaces, especially where the um, thread is, I want to make sure it stays down. So I wanted to definitely use that glue and the, the tape there. And then really, that's the card. Like, it's super simple, but it's so cute. And that glitter, the paste, oh my god, it's awesome. So I decided, because of the glitz of the, the gel that we used, I really didn't want to use Nouveau Drops or anything like that. So I just decided to do some gold splatter and some silver splatter. Um, because the white, not that it's silver, but... On top of the white cardstock, you're really not going to see any type of white splatter. <laughs> so I um, I opted for silver instead, and I think that that was a, a better choice. So I'm using the, um, what is it? The pewter one from Tim Holtz. And I'm going to tap that, and then I wanted to put a little bit more on the actual bulbs themselves. And there you go. I really like how they turned out. They're super cute. And I may make some more. <laughs> These might have to be some of my cards I give out at work. Because they're just so cute. They're just thinking cute. And it didn't take long at all. And you can do different colors. I mean, it's really endless of what you can do. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you've seen this stamp set, um, I'll try and link it. Because I think I got it from Simon Says Stamp dot com and I will try and find a link if it's still there all the pieces so that way you guys can have access to it too um I really do love it it's a very versatile there's snowflakes there's all kinds of stuff on there and you can just have a ball creating Christmas bulbs so thank you guys um make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button and make sure you click on the bell so that way you can get an alert whenever um, I'm uploading new content. So thanks again and have a great Sunday.